page 104. We are now discussing... Oh, today's class should be in Refush, Merit of Refush Shlema for Yosef Velva Ben Sara. So our learning should be in the merit that he has a speedy recovery. So we're learning about the things which detract from Zahirus, watchfulness, the things that prevent us from being careful in serving Hashem and fulfilling all of the mitzvahs, all of the commandments, the first thing we discussed is that we're so busy we don't have time to sit and think about what we're supposed to be doing in the world. The second thing, this, and this, uh, that was the first thing, the second part, the second thing has two parts. The first part we discussed last week, which was uh, schok, people that don't take life seriously. Since they don't take anything seriously, they never have a time to, to sit and contemplate you know, what they're doing in the world and what the purpose in life should be because everything is just a joke to them. They go from vacation to vacation, and just uh, their whole their whole life is working for the weekend. Now we're on the second part of the. Uh, I, I've met them a few times, and but the point is, is that even within ourselves, you know, we uh, we come and we try to take uh, Avodas Hashem seriously. We even we all have aspects of this in ourselves, is that we don't take things seriously enough uh, to think about how to serve Hashem properly. But we're on the second half of the second detractor of Zahirus, and that is Leitzanus. Leitzanus is uh, cynicism. So let's learn about cynicism. Vitira Kashi Alatzon, the severity of mockery, he calls it. And it's uh, great destruction. He says, just like a shield, which is covered in oil, covered in fat, all of the arrows that are going to be shot at this shield are going to be knocked off, right? It's not going to hit the shield at all. It's just going to fall away immediately. He says, so too, that's what Leitzanis does to Musr. This is what cynicism and mockery does to Musr. When we make fun of serious things, right, mockery and cynicism means... You don't treat serious. You make fun of serious things. You mock serious things. Everything is a joke, right? Not just like you're not taking things seriously, but you actually take those important things in life and you mock them. Rabbi Friend had a great um, example of this. You know, you go to a, a shir, a class. You go to an inspirational lecture. Let's say before Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, and the rabbi gets up and he speaks passionately about the importance of tshuva and repentance and you're feeling inspired you want to make a change in your life because the rabbi inspired you with the you know the true words of torah about how to make a change and he says what ruins the entire class the entire inspirational lecture is the one guy in the back who makes the one-liner you know making fun of the class making fun of the uh of the of the inspirational talk that one line to get a quick joke to make fun of the rabbi or to make fun of what the rabbi said all of a sudden people stop taking what he said seriously that's what Late Sunnis is, that's mockery. Um, and that's really what the, uh, you know, you see it on the internet all the time. This is what uh, people do, right? And now, since we have uh, the internet, every time Dick and Harry, his opinion, he thinks his opinion counts for something, and people go and they attack serious matters. You know, you'll have a, you know, you'll have a very wise rabbi saying something, or write an article, uh, or write a book or something to uh, inspire people, like great sages. And then you'll have one guy who's a nobody who's sitting in the, you know, in his pajamas in the basement, and he's mocking the rabbi, making fun of either the way he looks or something else, and people stop taking it seriously because of the cynicism and the, the scoffing in late sunnis. And the Ramchal tells us that it's so dangerous because, right, our whole life is to learn how to serve Hashem. And the way we do that is by learning words of inspiration about Musr. And when a person engages in late sunnis and scoffing, it's just like you have a shield which is covered in fat and oil. It's very greasy. So just like the shield, when you shoot an arrow at it, it's going to totally get deflected. So too, when we have late sunnis or scoffing and mockery and cynicism, that deflects all words of Musr and all words of inspiration to help us become better people. And that's why it's so dangerous. He says, with one word of cynicism or scoffing, you can um, cause a tremendous amount of inspiration that you might have had uh, to, to, to be deflected. Right? All of that, all of those words of inspiration that you heard, that want that would inspire you to right think about your deeds. Earlier we've spoken about the importance, which 
um, <coughs> the importance of every day, thinking about our deeds for the day, thinking about did we meet our goals to serve Hashem today? Did we do everything we were supposed to? Did we do all the mitzvahs as best as we could? And with all of those words that are meant to get us to that level, with one little bit of late sunus, that could totally undermine everything we achieved or everything that could have been achieved. The power of cynicism has the ability to make that all land on the ground. All of these inspirational, thousands of inspirational words to just hit the ground and totally be worthless. But they ask the Klal and they will have no impact on a person. You can imagine, right? A guy goes to, you know, you have these inspirational weekends, you go to a hotel and you have all these inspirational speakers. You know, without late sunnis, you could come out a different person, or you go through a yantiv, you go, we're about to have perm, right? You go through perm, and you hear all the inspirational speeches, and you have an inspirational davening, it could make a tremendous effect on a person. It could change a person's life about how he relates to Hashem. But with one word of cynicism, someone mocks the rabbi, or someone mocks what the rabbi said, then you don't take it seriously. And all of that is worthless. So it's very, very dangerous. Now again, like we mentioned last week, this doesn't mean that, you know, you're not allowed to, you know, have a sense of humor you know, and, uh, and, and be a happy person. Like we mentioned, Rav Chaim Ozer was always going around telling jokes, but they weren't jokes mocking serious things. They were jokes to make people happy, right? There's a difference between being happy and having a good sense of humor versus, uh, you know, making fun of serious matters and making that the butt of the joke. Right? It's very hard in, in the United States because we all make fun of the leaders and uh, many of them deserve it. But I imagine, like, uh, my friend used to live in Iran and he said that, you know, to, uh, you know, here, I guess Bush was president at the time, he said, you can, you can go out in the street and say whatever you want about President Bush and curse him out and everything, and it's fine. If you would do that in Iran, you wouldn't be alive for much longer. So we kind of uh, don't really have that concept of, uh, of that here. Okay. Now, why are all of these words going to be deflected? Now, the reason that all of these things are not, are not going to make an impact on us, these words of inspiration and divrei uh, moser. It's not because they're weak uh, or that we don't understand it. It's because of leitzanus, of the cynicism, which has the power to totally uh, destroy these words of moser and these words of fear of Hashem. Vihine, page 105. He says, Isaiah the prophet, he would uh, scream about this issue like a crane. Right? This is not a new thing. This is not something that just, uh, that just happened nowadays. Right? I, we're talking about Yeshua and Navi in the times of the first temple. They all, people also had this issue. They, they, the people were not um, listening to the words of rebuke. He says, Do not... Um, be scoffers, do not be late sonim, because it's your troubles and your tribulations are going to increase. Meaning that if you are, if we are people who will scoff and we don't correct our ways, then Hashem is going to correct our ways by bringing, God forbid, physical suffering on us. And that's what Yeshayahu Anavi was saying, that if you don't take the opportunity, if we don't take the opportunity to use Musr and to improve ourselves, then Hashem is going to inflict us with pain, God forbid, that will force us to improve our ways. That's what the rabbi said. They said that leitzanus, cynicism, brings suffering upon a person. This is really what the, the verse says in Mishlei and Proverbs. That a scoffer is ready to get judgment and get uh, suffering. So it makes sense. Right? If you come to the Mesil Shasharim Shir and you learn Divrei Moser and you work on improving yourselves, we all work on improving ourselves from the right what we learn and we make an effort to become better people and better Jews and better servants of Hashem. Hashem doesn't need to give us physical suffering. Why? We're all working on improving ourselves because of the words of Musr, the words of inspiration that we heard inspire us to repent for the sins that we did and to constantly work to become better servants of Hashem. Ah, But the scoffers, the, the cynics, they're not inspired by the words of Musa that they hear because of their cynicism. They don't take anything seriously. They mock the serious things and denigrate it. The only way they can improve themselves is that if Hashem brings physical suffering upon them. Because the uh, late that they have 
pushes away the um, the divrei Musar, the inspirational words that they could have here. So again, it's uh, it's always good to work on ourselves to become better people. So this way, Hashem doesn't uh, you know remind us again. Uh, Rabbi Shor from Sons of Israel used to say that uh, if we don't remember that we're Jews, there's going to be a force which reminds us. Now, he wasn't talking about Leitzan specifically, but he was talking specifically about anti-Semitism, that if we forget that we're Jews, then God sends a force to remind us that we're Jews, right? Sometimes he sends anti-Semitism to remind us that we're the Jewish people, we're special. And it's just a concept in general that if we don't make the effort ourselves, right, Hashem wants us to be close to Him. Hashem wants us to be, to, to, to observe the Torah properly. So, we have two options. Either we can inspire ourselves to do that on our own or since Hashem wants us to be close to him he'll unfortunately sometimes send us suffering <coughs> so that we're reminded that we're Jews to become close to him so the Ramchal is saying that same thing by late son is since the scoffers they don't automatically since they scoff and they are cynics they don't take anything seriously they don't have the divri muster the only way for them to do tshuva and repenting at close to Hashem is for them to, is for him to send them physical suffering According to the severity of the sin, they were, um, that's going to be the punishment. This is what it says in the Gemara. Leitzanus is very bad. This is the, the beginning of Leitzanus, the beginning of cynics and, and cynicism, is that it comes with suffering. And at the end is this total destruction. And he quotes the Pasuk. And that is the second um, that is the second thing which takes away from Zahirus. The second thing again which takes away from Zahirus is Leitzanus, is scoffing, is mocking serious things. Again, it's all it's very uh, it's very tempting sometimes. You think of a funny joke, you hear a shear. Uh, you know, the rabbi getting up and he's trying to inspire everybody and you whisper to the guy next to you something funny, the rabbi looked kind of funny or he did something funny and you want to whisper it to your friend and kind of make, get a good laugh, but it's very dangerous. We see how serious it is because uh, it will totally undo the inspiration that was just given and it's a very, very dangerous thing. And this is the second, this is the second item which takes away from Zahir. Should we, should we start the third one? You want to stop? Anyone have a... All right, let's, let's stop here. Stop here for this week, and next week we'll learn about the third thing, which detracts from Zahiris, which is bad friends. <coughs> we all have